In this tutorial, we are going to look at how we can format images in our website using HTML. And before we get into the details of how to do that, let's look at why we might want to do that. So what I'm going to do in this style text page is return down a couple of lines to create some space above my content. And I'm going to take an image and drag and drop that into the page. So once again, any styled text area in Rapid Weaver will accept an image by simply dropping it into the page. We can do this here on the style text page. We could do it in a blog page. We could add it to a sidebar. And then there are other plugins like the photo gallery and other third party plugins, including stacks that allow you to add images and photos in different ways as well. But the idea is that you can simply drag and drop an image straight into the page from your finder in order to add it. Now that we've done that, let's go ahead and preview the page and we'll take a look at what's happened so far to this point. If we scroll down to the net to the content, we'll find the image by itself and then the text. Now if we want this image to sit on the right side of the page and have the text wrap around it, you might think that maybe you simply need to select the image, choose the right align option, and that that would do it. But that actually does not do what we want. That does move the image to the right, but it's also affected the text below and it's prevented that text still from wrapping to the left of the image. We really want the text to start up here and have the image sitting over to the right. So let's undo all of that. Let's go back in a line left and then let's look at how we would format this image with HTML. So it's actually quite simple. We click on the image itself. There is a faint blue highlight that goes around the edges to indicate that it has been selected. So you should see that when you click on it. And then we go to Format, HTML, and we have two options, Align Image Left and Align Image Right. So let's go ahead and align the image right now because that's what we want to do. When I click away, you don't really see a whole lot. There's a very faint green outline around the image indicating that we formatted it with HTML. If you recall the tutorial about formatting text with HTML, you'll remember that when we highlight text and format it with HTML, it receives a green background. The image does as well, but it's very faint, and it may be difficult for you to see here in this recording. But there is a faint green highlight around the image indicating it's been formatted with HTML. And while we don't see anything in the edit view, once we go to preview, we will find that the image has been aligned left, I'm sorry, right, and the text is wrapped to the left. Now there is some spacing issue here. We'd like to have this line of text kind of pretty much start at the same point as the image does. And so what we can do is go back to edit and remove some space here. So I will remove two lines of space and bump this text up right alongside the image itself. And then when we preview it, we will get the result that we want. So the text begins right away on the left and the image sits on the right. Now we can quickly reverse this by choosing the image again and then going to format HTML align image left and then that will put the image on the left and wrap the text to the right, as you can see there. Now this is a very basic way of using the HTML formatting to align an image left or right. You can use the Stacks plugin to do this in much um, more flexible ways, but this is really the basics of it. And you can do this, again, in any style text area. So regardless of what style text area you're using, whether it's a style text page or a page sidebar or the um, a blog page, you can use the formatting tools available in the format menu to um, format an image and align it alongside text. So that's really all there is to it using the format image left and right alignment. So with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up this tutorial.